Okay, hi everybody. Well, uh, I got a lot of emails and, and uh, questions about, you know, how do you do the display on the DDS? How, you know, how do you get it in? What do you got to do? Well, I thought I would make a little quick video just kind of show what I do. I mean, everybody climbs their own mountain, right? So you do it the way you want to do it because there's, I don't think there's a right way to do it. It's just technique and how you'd like to do it. Um, so we've got a Galaxy 979 and I'm doing this one because this one does require some cutting and I want to show you what I do um, and Mark does uh, to get the displays in but um, some of the radios like the uh, the Cobra 148s that are Chinese they have so much space in them all you do is take out the channel selector and the you know the display and get it out of there and there's a lot of room so you know those those work out real simple they're much faster um so you take your your bezel off right and i guess set it aside you'll take your radio and you'll unsolder the seven segment display the dual display get that out of there okay set that aside toss it toss it or put it in a box or some other kind of thing you want to do then you want to heat use this little uh, plastic smoked glass sometimes it's red it's not really glass it's just plastic um, so we heat it from the back right and once you heat it I'll get my heat going here this is pretty hot so if I get it too close it'll melt but you just heat it up a little bit and that softens the glue enough and you get it out of there and you can just press it out and you can see a little bit of the glue on there and this again eh, save it maybe you come up with a project and you need a piece of smoked acrylic and now you got your hole so this is why we say 0.96 display 0.96 inch display is best for mobiles and you'd look at this and you'd think wow that's going to be perfect well <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men right so you put that in there and guess what happens you see a little bit here at the bottom, just a little bit of the extra display area. If you push that down to get it to match, up on top, I don't know if you can see it with a camera or not, but there's a little gap at the top. But you're not looking at your radio like this, so I, to me, I would put it together like that, and it would look really nice in there and, and, and line up. And then in the back, you just come in here, once you've got it lined up, what I do is... I put this in last. I hook up the whole kit, turn it on, and I can see the display then, and then I go ahead and, and line it up. And, and you just take your, um, you know, your favorite hot glue gun, and just I just do four corners, maybe along the top. Your wiring's on there, of course. And just let it, you know, just let it sit and dry, and you're fine. Um, you just get it nice and straight. And, and what you do is, you know, while the glue is hot, you just get it in here and kind of move it around a little bit, get it, oh, that looks perfect, and, and do that. Um, so once that's in there, yeah, that's how we put the display. Then what you've got to do, and I guess I should have said this before, but you have to cut this out, this, this part of the metal of the inside chassis. And the reason for that is this sits, this bezel sits up tight, you know, flush against this. So this inside piece here, because these have to touch the circuit board back there where the LEDs are. So this is real close to right here. So this guy has to fit in here without touching and shorting out right so we just cut that little piece of um, metal like that and how I cut that is with my handy dandy nibbler tool now I've had this one since probably gosh I don't know 92 <laughs> you know um, you can get these on Amazon in fact I, I you know j just look up nibbler tool hand handheld nibbler tool if I uh, can remember I'll put a link but then when that's all in there and you put the when you put the case on everything looks nice it's all going to be that way it's all lined up nice and that's how we put the displays in now on the 148 uh, the the Chinese ones you'll take your bezel off you'll find that this this 0.96 fits the window perfectly so you just drop it in line it up and glue it and in the back of the chinese 148s here this is a huge space 
So you don't need to cut anything. It just lays right in there. And I don't think it gets very close. I think it stands off about a quarter inch from, from hitting that anyway. But it goes right in. And that's those are the fastest. Um, now the regular 148s, um, you know, the, the good old days from the 80s and, you know, the ones that were made then, you do have to cut this same kind of little spot out. Um, it's a little bigger than this, but you know, everyone's different. Some, and again, some you don't have to, but just make sure when you put it in that there is no pressure on this because these corners right here are little thin pieces of glass. And I'm telling you, if I take this marker and I smack it, throw this away because these will break real easy. I've dropped these on the floor in the shop. I was all ready, everything ready to go, fumbly fingers and dropped it on. Oh man, I was mad. <laughs> That does, you know, like, ah, oh, crap. You know, there, there goes the display. Um, but you can always test it. You know, if you don't see any physical damage to the glass, it's most likely okay. And I've had some drop. That, you know, they drop and land like that, and they're fine. So, uh, you know, hook it up, test it out. Uh, that's how we do the displays. It's really simple. Um, while I have this off, I'll go ahead and I'll do the clarifier. And, you know, get the, um, the mic gain, get the Roger Beep you know, output hooked up to the mic in and all that. And, and like I said, the last thing I do is I do the display because then when I put it together, the radio's done and uh, I can turn the kit on and see the display and not have to worry about it. So, yep, this one's going to be the uh, first 979 that we've had in in probably a year. So this was, uh, this came in, I think, in right toward the end of November because we're finishing up November and uh, we'll be into our December send-ins, and we, we of course, stop taking in work. So December is a slow month. It's, as far as send-ins, we don't have many. So um, we'll get this done, and I've got, I think, four more, uh, and I'll get them done hopefully uh, midweek, and then we'll get on December. And December and January, there's not a whole lot, so they'll go fast. And then we'll get started again taking send-ins. All right. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I hope that helps you understand how to do that display. And again, if you have any problems with your install, just send an email to this address. I'm pointing at you. Yeah, this address right here or this one down here. As a matter of fact, take both of these addresses, you know, CC, you know, Mark or CC me, but put both of them in. All right. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.